First, with more parents working and working longer hours, the issue of finding child care has become a bigger challenge, and Northeast Ohio is no different. Not at all, but where you look and when you like, look might help determine how successful you will be. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg here to explain why. Well, in the shortage of available child care for infants and toddlers is a very real issue, and a major change in Ohio coming in 2020 could make it even more difficult. For expecting parents, time ticks away. And with each passing a second, a flurry of things to do. But one of them in particular can prove to be the most difficult. I've seen this problem um, for the 30 years that I've been involved in child care resource and referral, um, helping parents to locate care. Debbie Fodge, the assistant director for the nonprofit Starting Point, helps parents find child care, a job that has grown more difficult and more important than ever. Infants and toddler slots tend to fill up uh, quickly because of the requirement of a smaller uh, ratio and group size. In June 2020, the state's step up to quality scoring system goes into effect. Among other metrics, child care centers with smaller class sizes earn higher scores which could possibly further cap the supply of space available. Class sizes um, and the ratios go down because the, the smaller the ratio of a student to a teacher, the higher the quality um, of interaction with um, the, the, the baby or preschooler or, or school ager with that teacher. Where you look can help as well. According to data compiled by Starting Point, the vacancy rate for child care services for infants and toddlers in Cleveland suburbs is at 21 percent, but in the city limits, the vacancy rate for infants is 32 percent, for toddlers it's 33 percent. The difference is even more pronounced for child care centers having three stars or higher. In the suburbs, the vacancy rate for infants is 10 percent, and for toddlers it's 7 percent. But if you seek high-scoring child care in the city limits, the vacancy rate for infants is 27 percent and 23 percent for toddlers. Fodge says the moral of the story is to avoid pigeonholing yourself in your search. Look early, look often, and look everywhere. It's important to, if you do find a provider that you like, whether that's home-based or center-based, to get on a waiting list. Because those waiting lists do change over time. Um, they could go very quickly, maybe, depending upon the time of year, so that can help. Fodge says it's also a wise idea to get on multiple waiting lists to increase your chances. Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.